Uh, I'd like to see how IPBES can help governments individually and collectively take, identify the, the policies and the actions that are needed to achieve those targets. Uh, I think IPBES can help do that by providing the, the information that's needed, the analysis of that information, and particularly perhaps through um, helping governments carry out policy-oriented scenarios. The convention is covering a, a whole range of issues. Biodiversity is a very broad uh, topic. Uh, it's extremely relevant to, to human well-being, uh, including, but not only including, through the ecosystem services that, that it delivers. Um, and therefore, policymakers have uh, a complex task in, 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 in looking at how to manage these resources, how to uh, manage the, the trade-offs among these resources. So I, I'm hoping that, that IPBES and the uh, local uh, scientists that are working through IPBES and who, whose participation is catalyzed uh, through IPBES can help, help governments address these complex issues, address, help them uh, identify the policies needed um, to uh, address those trade-offs. The information base uh, and the analysis that's needed to address the, the particular issues that, I, that the individual conventions uh, look at are, is actually common. And, and so I think uh, it best can provide that, that common uh, framework that hopefully will, will help um, uh, strengthen the co coherence among the conventions themselves, um, particularly if you look at biodiversity and climate change, for instance. We know that we can't solve the climate change problem without also looking at biodiversity, the management of ecosystems. Uh, equally, we, we, we can't solve the biodiversity loss problem without addressing climate change. So having a body that can, can generate information that's relevant to all these conventions, I think, would be a, a big step forward.